I'll make Vidal stop there, stop in the middle of the ring and fight me. I will not make Vidal run around the ring like a chicken, run, 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 run. And then run, 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 run. And then run, 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 run. Without me going to get him, there's no chance, no way, no way that will happen. What's going on, my people? Woo wee! We're back again with another YouTube video. This time, I've come across Vidal Riley and Maltese Head, Leon Wills, speaking about Moa yourself. So let's react to these people and let's see what they're saying about me. They love to talk about me. I don't know why. They just they just love talking about Moa. They need to keep my name out of their mouth. But yeah, people, let's react. Actually, come on. Quickly, Idris. What well, one? Idris Virgin. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is we down Riley coming Idris Virgin for? Listen. I swear down, J Paul, if we ever fight, I'm gonna knock you out. No balls, J Paul, I'll knock you out. Now you've got a trend going online. People calling me Idris Virgin. I'm not Idris Virgin. I'm Idris Virgo. I swear. <clears throat> Calm down. Let's react. This guy is easier. Did you see the clip? I, I seen it, I seen it. Let's get up. I bet he must have seen the clip. Wow, come on, man. You know, we don't like giving him too much airtime. What do you mean? We don't like giving him too much airtime because we know you're uh, really struggling right now. Struggling. Right? struggling in what way? Yeah, I'm struggling to get fights. I 100% agree with that. I can't get any fights. Struggling. Bro. Yeah, I'm true. Just, I'm even like, bro, yeah. I know he's, you he's, came he's here. He's best sitting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to bring up his best sitting. <laughs> <laughs> he's struggling right now. He's struggling right now. Bro. I've got to say something, actually, because it's quite weird that like, Leon is talking like this. When he's in a small council. Yeah, no views or no traction on social media. I know he thought he made the right decision. I, made, I didn't make the right decision, Misfits. What's wrong with that? Misfits. He thought he made the right decision and just trying to bread everyone. Now you've got no facts. But I haven't fought even, not even once this year, so I do agree with what he is actually saying. I haven't made the right move. I thought I did make the right move, so yeah, let's see what he's saying now. I just don't think for now. Has got the heart, you know what I mean? He was running like a coward's chicken. I think that was without. Aaron Chalmers. Yeah, fight give it to me. How did I get stung by Aaron Chalmers? How did I get stung by Aaron Chalmers? I did not get stung by Aaron Chalmers. Just to put it out there, people, he did not stung me. It was a decent shot, but I got stung by Aaron Chalmers. Listen, people, fighting to me without would be epic because I'll bring the fight to without. Trust I'll me. To, I'll make without stop there, stop in the middle the of the ring, ring. And fight me. I will not make Rudolph. Fight me! Like the chicken. Run, 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 run. Fight me! Run, 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 run. And then run, 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 run. Come on! There's no chance, no way, no way. The, the guy Jimmy the Henchman beat him up, you know. Leon, I fought Tommy Hench, Tommy's Drench, when I was 18. Get a grip.
was about, what, 12 years ago? And he did not beat me up. But it's funny how you watch that clip. The guy Jimmy the Henchman walks Dirk Matsky's out of his mouth. Right. The guy Jimmy the Henchman has been onto him and he's just trying to tell him. And you say, and you say with this afro comb in his head, at least have an afro. If you're gonna put, if you're gonna have an afro, <laughs> that is quite funny. I have, I have got afro. afro. So, at the moment now, Leon is calling me a coconut. This Maltese head Leon Wills is calling me a coconut. Why? Because I got an afro comb in my head and I am growing my hair into an afro. What is wrong with that? At least I can grow hair. These two Muppets, they can't grow hair, especially Leon Wills. He looks like a Malteser. Ha 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 ha. Just seen someone in the gym, two fighters with afro comb. I thought, oh, what's that? <laughs> Maybe I'll get one of those. What can I get that? <laughs> no. Bro, when I saw it, I was just laughing. I was just laughing, man. Because I just thought, wow, how the world just make you up for struggle, so? Because he's struggling. Uh, That's all it boils down to, man, about a fight with me and Bilal. Fight Muslim! Fight Muslim! He just, you got he just wants, he just wants to talk and Bro, try and get some engagement. Of course, engagement. Of course. It. it's all about engagement, it's all about engagement. So with that in mind, we've given him approximately 90 seconds, he's going to have to take that and go. We're not talking about it anymore. I'll, I'll, I'll take my nice 90 seconds airtime. Thank you for the 90 seconds airtime, Liam Ortiz, Head Willis, and Vidal Scared Riley, I'll call him. It sounds like he's laughing out of terror. He's afraid to fight the body breaker. He's just Virgo. I got these guys shivering. I got these guys don't want to be fighting me. I, I, I can't blame them. I, I'm a dangerous fighter. You know what I mean? I'm a higher risk. You know what I mean? Low reward kind of fighter. What can I say? I'm a prize fighter. But furthermore, Leon Wills. It's part of the small council. Now, this this has got me thinking, people. Let me throw my two cents. Let me throw my five cents. Let me throw my ten cents into the pile right about now. Is this the reason why I'm not getting fights? Because of Leon in the small council. Is he actually talking to everyone in the small council saying, oh, don't give you just fights. Don't do this. Don't do that. Is he the reason why I ain't getting fights? If you're part of that small council for misfits, you shouldn't have a biased opinion. Because if you have a biased opinion, it's, you're affecting other people's upbringing you're affecting other people's way to start them so that's got me thinking people drop a comment below if you think i'm right do you think leon wills is stopping me from hinging me from succeeding in this boxing universe because he hates me he's got a vendetta against me it's not my fault leon that ksi has fired you as a coach because you're not good as an snk snc coach it's not my fault he fired you and it's not my fault also vidal scared riley that case I fired you as well because you wasn't that good. You must have realised you're not up to the part. You must have realised you are not a good boxer and you're not a good coach. Hence why you guys got dropped. Why are you guys hating on me because I'm in the street fighter gym? How does that make any sense? I'm just on this platform, starting to progress. I'm trying to freaking do what I do, box, you know what I mean? I didn't go look for boxing people, boxers found me. And it just seems like these guys are the type of guys who are in the background Closing that door for me to succeed. So that's a big question mark for me, people. So let me know in the comments below if you agree with what I'm saying. Let me know in the comments below if you don't think it's Leon's fault or you actually do think it's Leon's fault of why I am not fighting. But yeah, me people, I'm quite interested in what you guys got to say. Also, people, don't forget, people, like, subscribe, and share this video. Let me know. And also, don't forget to put that alert button on, people, because when I post another video, you will know. But yeah, as I always say, before we go, how we close our videos off in three, two, one. Woo!